Hi, my name's Sam Durkin and today I'm going to be showing you something about colour theory. I'm an artist and I generally paint in acrylics on canvas. Um, I always paint uh, using the three primary colours and uh, we'll go more into that uh, later and why I do that. But today I'm essentially going to show you um, how they work. So let's put some, let's put some colour onto the canvas just so we can see it. Okay, this is pure yellow. This is what you'd call process pure yellow. And as you see, it goes on the canvas nicely. We've got a strong guy there. I'm going to change brushes because uh, I want to make sure that we don't don't mix these colours yet. This is pure magenta. As you see, it's a, a lovely red colour. Um, it's not uh, what you might call the poster box red, but it's 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 as, it's about it's the purest red you can get. So it's um, it's what you might call real red. Uh, if you're buying it um, online or from a shop, you're looking you're looking to get what's called process magenta. Okay. And here we have process cyan, which is a lovely, powerful blue colour. Now, all these colours together um, can make every single other colour. Uh, in the colour spectrum. And I'll just exhibit that here. If we go, if we move this up towards where we have our yellow, so we move some paint over there, let's move some there. There's plenty in here, so we've got some to move with. If we move that up to where the yellow, move in where the yellow is, we can move it over here, and as they cross across each other, there we go, we get green. So there we are, you see, two mixed together, and as, as it gets over here more, we get a more bluey green, get off, and we mix some of that yellow in, we get a more yellowy green. There we go. So as you see, we've, we've essentially got a, and you can see that the shades of green, and all the shades in between, they're all mixed together. So we've got our pure, pure colors. We've got some yellow on there, and move across to the red. Now, I've already got some red on my on this paintbrush, so as you see, it's going a little bit orange. And there we are. We get an orangey colour coming across there. As we come across here, the blue paint has got almost too much water in it there. We mix into the mix into that red. Just put some more red on there. We get a lovely purple colour. Okay. Now, the amazing thing about this is if you mix all of these colours that are in this colour circle together, in this middle area, it gets very, very, very dark indeed. Because these colours mixed together, if done exactly right, will form a type of black. Now, the final stage to this is to add white. A spot of white out here, a spot of white out here, a spot of white out here, and up there. I'll do is mix it in with the red here, as you see. Get a pink. As we mix it in across the purple here, get a pale purple. Come across here, let's get some more of that. We get a light blue. Okay. white on there and as we come across here mix it in with the green that we've got and that purple green as you see as it mixes across those colours it brings lightness up until we're right out here as it's almost almost too spacey for sort of colour okay Let's see what we can do here. There we go. And there we are. Very, very, very pale yellow. And of course, if we come across here, we mix it into the, the greens until we get a sort of a, a pale green sort of colour. Right. Now, clever thing, this middle section. If I put some white into here, just a, this will actually make kind of a grey. Look at that. So we've actually formed our own kind of grey. And, and if we take this further out into here, 
We get all sorts of interesting color effects. So we've got a sort of a gray purple, a gray green, even a gray orange. So put some more color on there because there we go. So here we go. A gray orange. And as you notice, the mixing of colour on the palette is that ha on the canvas happens constantly while you paint. And what paint you've got held on your paintbrush affects what colours will, you'll get. Now, the, all, all the colours you should arrive at, because instance, interestingly, uh, let's say I'll take some of this blue from here, we put it up here with this little bit of orange. If I mix that in here, we've got to get a bit of a a greedy brown or we put to take it this way we're going to get a bit of a, a ready brown we mix it with let's take a little bit more there now generally you'll be doing this on a palette to mix colors okay so you your use your knowledge of the colors and how they work to produce all the colors that are available the great thing about using your primaries is that you have access to every single color that's available completely if we, uh, if we were to only use the colours that we get from a tube of paint, uh, those pre-mix for us. And because they're not at the apexes, so these, these colours where we started here, this, this red, which is magenta, yellow and cyan, because those colours cannot be made um, by mixing any other colours together, having those base points in your, in your palette allows you to make the most colourful, vibrant paintings you, you could ever imagine. If you buy pre-mixed paint, they're already a bit like this. I cannot, for the life of me, turn that piece, th this, this, paint, this paint here, into um, magenta, or blue, or, or, or you know, cyan, or yellow. I cannot do it, it's impossible. There's no way for me to mix any other paints with this paint to get to that color, okay? But, with that color, with this color, this color, I can make every other color that's available. So. Um, I suggest, uh, rather than going up buying a whole set of uh, colours to work from, mix your own. Mix your own on the canvas. Mix your own on, on your palette. And uh, I think you'll, you'll find your painting will take off uh, a great deal more. And as you may notice, I'll talk later on this, um, we can use the colours um, as, as a form of shading. So uh, when we mix them together, they get darker. Uh, we mix extra white with them, obviously they get lighter, but those are what you call hues and saturations, and I'll talk about that in another program. Okay, well hopefully that was helpful, and uh, you can be a thumbs up, share my, uh, share my talk with other people, and uh, you'll come back and see some painting demonstrations that I'll be making later.